Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about spiral dynamics. This might be something that you've never heard of, but I think it's very important and it really fits in with a lot of the things that I talk about in my channel. So let's get right into it because this might be a long video. There's a lot to explain. So in simple terms, what is spiral dynamics? It's basically a model that describes human society behavior and development based on their level of consciousness. So this kind of changes, as you're going to see, the, there's different levels of this, and this is a very simple way, well, it's very complex, but on the, on the surface, it makes it appear more simple so that you can understand it, and I'm going to explain it in simple terms. So how did this become a thing? Uh, the originators of this began in the late 1960s, with a man named Claire Graves, and he worked with some men named Dr. Don Beck and Christopher Cohen, and they worked together to evolve this system and explain it further. And then they also worked with Ken Wilber, who they, they worked together and they further refined it. And so it's kind of evolved over the last, um, you know, since the 60s and 70s. So this is a relatively new thing. I mean, I guess if you think of it in terms of how long humans have been on the planet, but it's, yeah, it's been around for a while now. So, so if you, you might have heard of Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. You might have also have heard of the Map of Consciousness by David Hawkins. These are two systems that Spiral dyna Dynamics is very similar to. So I've talked about Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs before, and I, I love that in how it ties in with holistic health. And, and that kind of brings me to the next slide here is, how does this relate to holistic wellness? Because as you're going to find out, there's a scale, there's a pyramid. So you start at the bottom and work your way up, and that's a lot how... Um, health works. Um, first you start off with your physical needs and that's your survival needs. And then as you evolve, as you grow in consciousness, you learn to self-actualize and that's what the spiritual awakening is. And that is when you reach the point of consciousness where you've taken care of your physical needs, you've taken care of all of your survival needs, and you're able to expand and evolve. And that's basically what you know, is happening in the universe. It's basically what life is, just evolution. And that's why I think spiral dynamics is so important because it kind of lays out the framework of each of the stages so you can kind of see the evolution of humanity. I think it's very fascinating. So let's start with the first one. Beige is at the very bottom and this level is all about survival. So that's very similar to, it's actually the same thing as um, the hierarchy of needs at the bottom where it's just physical, everything just to keep your body alive. So beige is all about instinctual things, like you're just going to respond to whatever your instinct is telling you to do. This is the lowest level of consciousness, so these are people that are not really trying to improve the world at all, they're just trying to survive. They don't have much consciousness of um, bigger things. There is a aspect of herd behavior. People gather together in groups and they follow the herd because that's what is safe. So their first priorities are food, water, warmth, sex, and safety. Now, some people might argue that sex is not really a need, but I mean, like, I don't, I've never been this low to where I was just focusing on survival, but I don't think that I would be really, you know, trying to have sex in that situation. But this is what our ancestors did, and this is why we're all here, so it must have been important. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's how they escaped their horrible lives of suffering and survival is, you know, connecting with other humans and and that sort of thing. So all of those things are what beige cares about. Moving on to purple. Purple is the next one up, and this one focuses on safety and security. So in purple, back in the back when um, society was evolving, this is when they started to have a belief in magical spirits. So they now this is something that I feel a little bit differently about because there's a lot of people nowadays that are into the new age, you know, 
um, law of attraction manifestation thing, and that is working with magic. Magic is really the energy of nature. And so um, their belief, though, you know, talking about this stage is more of spirits um, such as they thought that the sun was a god and, and things like that. And they believed in um, things that aren't really true, like when they heard thunder, they thought that it was, they were being punished and some, something in the sky was angry. And so they kind of tried to appease those spirits. And so they did a lot of rituals and they built um, allegiances and subordination systems. So basically, if you were in a tribe of people, you would hold allegiance towards your elders and your chiefs of whoever was in your clan, you know. Um, it was very much based around community because you needed that community to survive because they were all about being secure and safe. This is also when religion started becoming a thing because religion was created to help people feel part of a community and their the people that had the same beliefs and perform rituals about, you know, trying to appease the magical spirits, basically. So then red is the next one, and this is the one that focuses on ego and power. So this is the stage where hierarchy started to come into play, a lot of power structures, People were really interested in instant gratification. They didn't have any guilt or shame about these things. They were very individualistic minded. So if you think of these words, you know, you probably think of how people go through these stages where um, children will suddenly become really individualistic and all they care about is pleasure, like, you know, Toddlers are like this. Teenagers are very much like this. They're not ashamed. They don't feel guilty. They just want what they want and they want it now. That's kind of how that is. The next stage is blue and the blue focuses on order. So blue focuses on a difference between right and wrong and if you behave in the correct way you will be rewarded if you behave in the wrong way you will be punished. There are rules and procedures People don't care about compassion, they only care about judgment, and there are traditional things, people are very conservative and very conventional. As I'm talking about each of these stages, you are probably recognizing this in our society, and that is because all of these stages still exist in different forms in different um, variations. So there's not as many beige anymore and not as many purple anymore. As you go up, there's going to be more percentage of these stages present in society. But then at the very top, there's not as many. And that shows that as a society, we are not quite there yet when it comes to reaching the evolution of, you know, what's possible. So the next one is orange, and this one focuses on success and prosperity. So there are, uh, there's an emphasis on human rights and freedom. Um, there's a lot of materialism happening. Success is rewarded, and this is where capitalism came into play. So orange is the, uh, the stage where it's really about, you know, corporatism, getting a good corporate job, getting a lot of money having a lot of money to to enjoy your freedom, but also at the same time, you know, being focused on human rights. Green is the, is the stage that focuses on community, so it kind of bands back together again, um, and so there's going to be a lot more sensitivity, more empathy towards others. People are going to start wanting to share resources. There's more environmentalism. People are all about equality and trying to achieve peace. So you might have noticed that there's a lot of green happening. There's a movement of this happening right now. Um, people are becoming more and more like this. I think it's been this way for a while. But again, there's still a lot of people in the red and the blue and the orange stages. There's a, it's scattered around, you know, it's, it's not all, not everybody's evolving at the same speed. Then the next one up is yellow, and that is focused on synergy, so things working together in a harmonious way. So more about learning and flexibility, spontaneity, 
instead of being power hungry, now people are more into knowledge and building complex systems that work easily. So that's where the synergy comes from and creativity. So this is all about innovation and again, evolving to the next stage. So then the next stage we have, this is the highest one, depending on which, you know, there's some that say there's another one, but this is the one that's got the most information about, and that's harmony, the level of harmony. So this is the level that focuses on holistic things, wholeness, the knowledge that everything is connected, centered on the entire cosmos rather than just our planet. And there's an emphasis on mind and spirit. So as you can tell, this is the, the stage that holistic wellness resides in because it is focused on wholeness. And I mean, you, by now, most people, if they're into holistic wellness, they're probably past the physical needs survival mode and they're working on the mind and spirit. So, of course, you're probably going to think, well, I don't really fit into one category, but I feel like I fit into a lot of them to different degrees. And that is so normal. That's okay. That's true. So that's that's the way society as a whole is. And sometimes you will change. Sometimes you will be more in one stage than another. You could reverse and go back down into another stage. And that is because life is cyclical. It works in a spiral. Things don't grow in a linear fashion. They grow in a spiral, in a circle. So you might take two steps forward and one step back. So don't think that you are not doing good enough if, say, you are stuck in the purple or the red or the blue stages. Um, so yeah, those are pretty much the stages, and I hope you got some benefit out of this. If you are interested in learning about the Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, I've actually got a video just about that, so you can watch that one next to get a fuller um, understanding of, of all of this stuff and how it ties in together. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.